every day we travel. Let's say for instance if we are in Australia touring, uh, it would be from Sydney to Melbourne, to Brisbane, to Perth, to Adelaide and it goes on like that uh, over a weekend, so Friday to Saturday to Sunday. So the Friday and Saturday would be an all-nighter and then the Sunday parts would be really difficult but you have to give your heart most and it as well. So I've sort of learned to deal with um, not having that many hours of sleep and just running on coffee and Red Bull, but I don't do Red Bull anymore because I don't eat sugar. So it's a bit tough, but I do manage. Don't deprive yourself of sleep if you really, uh, you should be getting it. So uh, if you really can't avoid it and you have to work the next day or your workload is too much to take, then you probably should meditate a bit. A bomber jacket, just like this, jeans, uh, my hair up in braids, a t shirt. And so I'm working on a couple of projects right now. One is a project on gender-based violence. People don't talk about gender-based violence enough. Also, there needs to be a better support system for females. Girls and women in our culture tend to get spoken about a lot lesser. And also, we tend to get heard a lot lesser. So I think that's something really important that we need to focus on. I'm also working on a bit of commercial music. I'm releasing a new uh, single called Kuru Lavi really soon. Uh, actually, when you see this video, it probably will be out. Um, I'm not the typical treadmill, you know, uh, body track kind of girl. I don't really like machines. I love my cardio work, I love aerobics, so I would say that my go-to workout would be a full-on like heart pumping, adrenaline rush filled aerobics routine. I have sweaty hands, it happens all the time. So uh, I'm constantly like, you know, rubbing my hands in my jeans before I give my hand up to someone to shake, or I'm just like, hi! <laughs> Party like there's no tomorrow. home with my two dogs, Diva and Rio. A lot of people think that I uh, am quite stuck up and uh, I must say that I'm really actually quite shy so uh, on first approach I wouldn't be like oh yeah overly friendly but if someone walks up to me and talks to me then I would really open up and be friendly with them. Now since social media has become such a huge trend uh, I feel that influencers uh, sometimes go a little bit overboard and that's a pet peeve for me. I feel like um, people should be a little bit more genuine because I think real connections are, are what's really worth it. For me, it's always been a journey. I didn't ever think that I've made it and then that's the ultimate place I should be and that there's no further I can go from that because I think that gives you like an inflated uh, ego and like you know just sense of self that's just so distorted but there was one moment on stage that I felt just wow I, I feel so like just wow to be standing here and that was at uh, the Sydney Opera House when I performed with a couple of Sri Lankan artists as well as a couple of international artists in the Aussie platform. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on And you cast your fears aside And you know you can survive So when you feel like hope is gone Look inside you and be strong And you finally see the truth that a hero lies in you, you, that a hero lies in